Good morning. In this video, video we are going to see about introduction to IoT. Here we are going to discuss about Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi is used to build the IoT systems. IoT is nothing but it's a scenario. Here uh, each object, animal or people are provided with single identifiers and it have a capability to transfer the data to a network without uh, requiring human to human or human to computer communication. Raspberry Pi is the cheap computer that runs on Linux. It provides a set of GPIO that is general purpose uh, input output pins that allow us to control electronic components for physical computing that explores the IoT. It was uh, introduced in the year 2006. It is particularly designed for educational use. It's a Raspberry Pi is a small size. It's like a credit card sized single board computer. It was developed in UK. This have three generations uh, like Pi 1, Pi 2 and Pi 3. First generation of Raspberry Pi was released in the year 2012 and the other it will have two models uh, like model A and model B and this uh, Raspberry Pi can be plugged into TV, computer, monitor and it, uh, it can use us with a standard keyboard and mouse. So it, it's a user friendly so anyone can easily use this and it's like a, a desktop whatever the operations done by the desktop same thing can be uh, do with this uh, Raspberry Pi so it will have a, a SOC system on chip and it includes a GPU also that is graphics processing unit and also ARM compatible and CPU uh, the CPU speed ranges from 700 megahertz to 1.5 gigahertz here the operating system is stored in sd cards and a program memory in either uh, micro sd h or sd hc sizes so most boards have a one to four slot usb slots composite video output hdmi K, uh, pro, uh, facility and 3.5 mm phone jack for audio all the models will have wi-fi and bluetooth Several generations of Raspberry Pi have been released. So all models have a SOC with a integrated ARM compatible CPU and GPU. The processor speed ranges from 700 MHz to 1.4 for Pi 3 model. So onboard memory also there that is 256 MB to 1 GB. SD cards in uh, micro HDC are used to store the OS and the program memory. It will have uh, uh, various USB ports and uh, lower level output is provided by the GPIO pins. So this is the board details of Raspberry Pi. Uh, we can see here that the Raspberry port it consists of Ethernet output port, 2 cross 2 USB A ports to PC and a camera connector, HDMI output, uh, 5 volts micro USB power, switching regulator, my SD card slot, Broadcom, so run header used, so there is a mounting holes, uh, is 4 squarely placed mounting holes are there and uh, 40 GPIO headers, it's a 40 pin uh, GPIO general purpose input output, so the GPIO pinout diagram is given here, so the 40 pins are there. And here uh, two 5 volts pins and two 3 volts pins are present as well as ground pins also there. So here high means 3 volts and the low means 0 volts. And the processor is ARM 11 processor. Latest version is 700 megahertz processor is we are using here. And Ethernet facility is there. It is the main gateway for communicating with additional devices. USB ports. There is a 2 USB port. That is, it can provide current up to 100 milliamps and uh, Ethernet port. It has a standard RJ45 Ethernet port and HDMI output. It supports both audio and video outputs. So, uh, Raspberry Pi is uh, to uh, we can uh, uh, connect with this uh, HDMI cable for monitoring and the composite video output facility is also there. Audio output jack is also there. So GPIO pins, that is uh, pins are used to connect the other electronic components. So we can uh, connect to the temperature sensor and uh, from here only the data will be transmitted. 
and we are having DSI. DSI means digital serial interface to connect an LED panel and the camera serial interface. So used to connect the camera and the SD card slot for OS and storage, uh, power inputs, memory. So we are having 256 MB of SD RAM and uh, it will be connected here and it have a various status LEDs. It have a five status LEDs. One is ACT, PWR, FDX, uh, LNK and for 100. So these are the various status LEDs and the corresponding functions are given here. Thank you.